This is good for realms. I don't really know what that means, but I like it. Single player, long play. Let's get into it. I do like that intro. Okay, I do like that intro. Okay, cool. So let's throw our diamonds in here. Actually, let's go ahead and build the pickaxe. So we're gonna need a pickaxe. Yink, yink. Yeah, so this one's just gonna be, we're actually gonna start making the robots. I need to cook this iron. So let's just do this. 11, 12, I don't know, 14, it's fine. There's a bunch of trees out there. Well, let's drop our diamonds in here. There's our pickaxe, that's fine. We're gonna cook this up here. Redstone dust, we need, we're gonna need to cook this gold. So let's make another, I left all that cobblestone down there. Not that I can't get more, but kind of funny. Oh, there's another furnace right there. Okay, whatever, you're fine. Uh, I think our furnace is going to go here, and our other furnace is going to go here. Now, let's run this. We're going to do more of these. And here, we're going to go here, and we're going to go here. So that's our gold. Oh, we need sand to do glass. Good news is, we're in a desert. <laughs> sand will not be a problem to acquire. Yeah, look at that pickaxe. Super far down there. I'm actually excited about editing these things now. I'm doing, like, I'm doing this. This is cool. I'm excited about this. Uh, we only need, we don't need this much sand, but, like, we're up here, so we'll just grab a few. I'm just gonna grab a stack. Ish. I mean, I'll grab a stack and then probably a little bit more because be, I'm not super counting. 62, 63. Okay, I'm counting. 64. Boop, 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 boop. Now, we need to put in this sand and then we need to go get us a tree. I'm just going to cut all these down since we're out here. All right. Those are all connected. Those are fine. That's, let's get this so we can drop some uh, leaves here. Let's get the apple water here. Eh. Aw. There you go. Eat a bread since we got a little food thing happening there, which has probably been going for like an hour and a half for how long we've been doing this. Here. Is there a chest in here? Oh, it's the cartographer table. That's cool. We can make a thing. Oh, cartographer. I could actually, oh. I can make a bunch of emeralds with that cartographer because you can turn sand into glass and they'll buy glass. So here we want to, I'm just gonna put half of these in here. 40, do that. Actually, let's do that full batch. I don't know if that's actually gonna be enough to cook all that up. 64, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, cool. I don't know what the ratio is there. Um, let's make one more chest to start holding junk. Not junk, but like, you know, stuff. Hey, look, another apple. I thought I put these things farther apart. Oh yeah, so I need to do, so the, for the computer craft stuff. Uh, 
well, one, I need to figure out what language I want to use for that because CC Tweaked is the name of the actual mod. It's based off Computercraft. I think people know Computercraft more than CC Tweaked, so I'm going to use that language. So for Computercraft, I, there's ways to program. Like, programming is the thing that you do. And there's a way to do it in-game, but that way sucks. <laughs> it's no fun. Like, it's not good. Like, if, if that was the only way to do it, I would not probably be doing this because it's just so much effort. You just have to fight with it so often. So I've written some code that lets me do it easier. And, like, instead of doing it in-game, I can use another app to write the code and then throw that code inside the game through this, like, method. Computercraft has a way to do that uh, that, that makes it a lot easier to mess with. Or a lot easier to edit, a lot easier to do, a lot easier to do. I use, I built my own thing because I made an even more whatever. Like they, they, they built one that lets you do that. I built a custom one that lets me do it the way that I want to do it, which is one of the cool things about programming is you control the computer. So if you, if something isn't working quite the way that you want it to do, or you think you can improve it, like you can improve it. Like it's you, one of the most amazing things to me about computers is on a, on a regular computer, there's nothing that anybody can program that computer to do that you can't also program the computer to do. Because of the way they work all the way down at kind of their fundamental level, there's, there's really nothing that, that somebody else can program that you can't program. Because it's all, it's all the same thing. It's all, and we'll get into the idea of being ones and zeros underneath the hood. But it's, it all comes down to some math stuff, and like the math is the math. Thankfully, for the most part, we don't have to get into that math. There's, there's sometimes when we'll do some math stuff, but not like in a school math way, in a cool, like, how, how do I make, like, I need to, like, figure out how far this thing needs to go. So, like, how do we figure that out? But I've, I've built some tools already to make that easier for me to do. And, I'm going to use some of those tools. I think cartographers take that kind of glass and not the other kind of glass. I'm going to use some of those tools to make it easier for me to program, to make, to make it easier for me to show what's up and how things work. I also built some secondary things that, so there's, there's the, there's the moving back and forth. There's the moving the code back and forth. So that's one thing. I also built some other stuff that makes it easier for me to, uh, what's the best way to say that to make the turtles and make the, make the bots do stuff. Like when you dig, for example, you want to make sure that you, if you dig in front of you and gravel falls, you see that gravel and you dig out that gravel. If you don't do that and you try and just move forward, the, the bot doesn't move forward because the gravel fell in front of it and it can't move forward. So I built some stuff that, that handles that, 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 that adjusts for that and make sure that it builds in front of it. And originally what I was going to do is actually just is use those things that I've already built a little bit and have them, you know, be things that I use so that we didn't have to build them. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to, we're going to do everything minus the part where I'm shuffling the code back and forth because shuffling the code back and forth is really it's, it's a tool and it's a technical detail that doesn't matter for the learning. All the rest of the stuff is where we can actually figure stuff out and see how things go. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to take some stuff away that I had built. Uh, so you see me do that here in a minute, probably where we're, we're just going to like, we're going to build all those things independently. Like this is going to be from start to finish. Every, everything we do is going to be stuff that we see and stuff that we do in here in, in game and, and watch. Actually not in game, right? Because we're going to do some of the programming. Actually, we're going to do all of the programming outside of the game itself, even though the code runs inside the game because it's way easier to do. And this gets into this idea that I've, that I've realized that it's quite possible that there is a huge number of people out there that haven't got into programming because some of the tools that are given to 
people who are new to programming suck at programming. Like the tools suck. There's a, there's a, the old statement of uh, a poor craft person blames their tools. And like the, the general idea there, right. Is like, it's actually, it's actually not the tool's fault. It's, or it's, it's not the tools that are having a struggle doing the thing. It's you, the person. And like that can be true and that often is true, but there are also times when it turns out that the tools, it really is the problem with the tools. And like based off 20 years of experience, I can tell you that if you tried to program this in game, it would be so much harder that a bunch of people would bail on it because it just, it's not a, like the, you don't, you wouldn't have the, the realization, like you wouldn't have enough knowledge or enough information to know that it sucks so i'm gonna i'm gonna skip past all that i'm not gonna make i'm not gonna make us go through that we're just gonna jump to the part using the using the tools that i know how to use and we'll talk about those tools and i'll show you how to use the tools and they are professional tools but they're also stuff that anybody could use so oh and actually i just realized yeah even more i'm gonna use i was gonna use the tool that i actually use all the time but I'm actually going to use a slightly different tool uh, because this tool does it takes even less. It doesn't, it basically the tool that I use professionally takes training. So there's, there's learning the language and there's learning what the, what and the how and what to do, but then there's also learning how to use the tool and like using this particular tool that I use takes like, it, it's basically like you have to, you have to study it and you have to learn it as well. There's another tool that's equally as good that doesn't require that. And so we're going to use that tool. It's And it, it comes down largely to a preference thing of which one you want to use. And like, I, I use the other one. That's fine. But for us, for now, we're going to use the, the one that, that's more addressable. And we'll talk about how to get into that and how to, how to download it and how to use it. So I'm going to link in the description how to get a tool called VS code, um, which stands for visual studio code. That's a free tool that you can use to program. And it's, it's really good. Like it's really good. This goes back into the idea of like all this free stuff is amazing. So I'm going to link in the description, how to get VS code. So when we start playing with this code stuff, that is what I'm going to use. You can follow along and do it explicitly exactly the same with me. Um, okay. So there's our glass. There's our glass. Let's actually build this computer now. So somewhere we made stone. Wait, where did we build the stone? Did I not burn up some stone to make smooth stone? Oh, okay. So, stone. Let's put it in here. No? Whatever. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm going to cut another video in just a second that shows you how to do VS Code. But the good news is, with the magic of editing, I don't actually have to stop this and do that right now. I can record that video later, but it will show up next <laughs> or it'll show up now, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Like I don't have to stop doing this to go do that. So we can, we can just drop it in and post as they say. Uh, okay. So let's figure out what we need to do here. So if I open this and I do computer, I should see this I'm really glad that showed up because if it didn't, I was going to be kind of bummed. So we need redstone, we need glass, and then we need eight of these. Um, okay. I'm actually... So that was that was still getting mats. We have all the mats now. Now I really am going to stop for uh, a break here and go get it so we can actually just start with the actual computer crafting stuff. So we'll do that as soon as the stone goes, which is six. I think I have all the ingredients now. Let's just check the ingredients. I don't think I can see turtle yet. I can't. Okay, it's fine. Uh, but we know what that looks like. It's going to take the computer, a chest. I'm going to go ahead and build the chest while we wait for that other stuff to cook. And we didn't need to do that. Do, 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 do. Let's do that. Actually, how many are here? Not that many. Okay, we'll just do one chest, it looks like. So we've got a chest, we've got our redstone, we've got a computer, we've got our iron, gold, we're not gonna worry about right now. We're just gonna do this, cool. That's going, that's going. It looks like our stuff finished. Okay, cool. So y'all have a good one. Take it easy, be kind, be cool. Uh, until next time, we will see you later. Cheers. And we're going to wait like two more seconds for this to finish just so I can do this. And then I can say again, cheers. See y'all in a minute. Or next time, whenever. I don't know. Something soon.